Good afternoon, students. I'm sure you all have relaxed yesterday. Now let us start with the subjects for today. Today we are going to learn the English poem, The Sugar Plum Tree. Children, first I will recite the poem. Listen carefully. The Sugar Plum Tree. Have you ever heard of the sugar plum tree? It's a marvel of great renown. It blooms on the shore of the lollipop sea. In the garden of Shatai town. The fruit that it bears is so wondrously sweet. As those who have tasted it say. That the good little children have only to eat. Of that fruit to be happy next day. From the Sugar Plum Tree, written by Eugene Field. It is an imaginary poem. Here, the poet asks the children that if we have ever heard of the Sugar Plum Tree, he says that it is a wonderful tree and very famous too. It blooms on the shores of the Lollipop Sea in the garden of Shatai town. This poem is a complete imagination of poet. He imagines the tree to be sugar plum tree and the sea as lollipop sea and the name of the town is Shatai town. The poet also says that those who have tasted its fruit say that it is wonder wonderfully sweet. Good little children only need to eat this fruit to be happy next day. Also he says that the fruit of this tree is only for good little children so that they are happy next day. The sugar plum tree blooms on the shore of the lollipop sea. The town is called Shatai town because the town can appear only as a dream in our sleep. Now students let us recite the poem once again. The sugar plum tree. Have you ever heard of the sugar plum tree? It's a marvel of great renown. It blooms on the shore of the lollipop sea. In the garden of Shut Eye Town. The fruit that it bears is so wondrously sweet. As those who have tasted it say. That the good little children have only to eat of that fruit to be happy next day. Write the names of the following from the poem. Dash tree. Sugar plum tree. Dash sea. Lollipop sea. Dash town. Shut eye town. Now children pick out the rhyming words from the poem. Tree. Sea. Renown. Town. Sweet eat. Say day. This is all about the sugar plum tree. Children, you have to learn the poem by heart. Now we move on to the next subject for today. That is handwriting. In handwriting, last Monday we have completed page number 3. Today, children, you will complete page number 4 of your handwriting book. This is page 4 of your handwriting book. Children, write in good handwriting slowly and neatly. Now we move on to the next subject for today that is mathematics. In mathematics, we are doing multiplication. Last three classes, we have completed multiplication. Today also, we continue with multiplication. Today, children, you have to complete page 40. And page 41 of your math workbook, which I will explain you now. From the pictures given below, make examples of multiplication and solve them. Children, observe the picture carefully. There are dash flowers in each row. How many flowers in dash such rows? See, there are flowers given here. And it is given in different rows. We see that there are in one row there are six flowers and there are number of rows are four. So we write 
there are six flowers in each row how many flowers in four such rows so only the flowers and the question is given to you you have to fill the number in the questions have to observe the picture carefully and fill the question complete the question then start solving the sum there are six flowers in each row how many flowers in four such rows this is the question which we have framed now let us solve the word problem six flowers in one row this is the first statement which we write don't forget to put the multiplication sign second statement number of rows four number of rows when we multiply 6 fours are we get 24 so total number of flowers is 24 so six flowers in one row number of rows are four six fours are 24 so total number of flowers are 24 children observe this picture carefully there are balls given in each box in each box there are four balls a number of boxes 1 2 3 4 5 6 boxes are there let us read the question now there are dash balls in each box how many dash in dash boxes we have to first complete the question there are four balls in each box how many balls in six boxes as we completed the question now let us start solving the sum four balls in one box this will be our first statement number of boxes 6 and we have to write multiplication sign without fail so 4 6 are we get 24 so 24 is the total number of balls so four balls in one box number of boxes 6 so 4 6 are 24 total number of balls are 24 now children observe these apples there are five apples in each box and four boxes are given so let us fill in the question now dash apples in each box how many dash five apples in each box how many apples in four boxes here we complete with our question There are five apples in each box. How many apples in four boxes? This is the question. Now the first statement. Five apples in one box. Next statement will be number of apples four, and we write the multiplication sign. Now five fours are we get twenty. So twenty number of apples. how many petals in four flowers if each flower has five petals so children imagine there is no picture given here how many petals in four flowers if each flower has five petals so total number of flowers are four and each flower has got five petals what operation should we use we should use multiplication here now we shall use which table shall we use we shall use five times table five fours are we get 20 so let us write that in the form of sum four flowers five petals in each flower multiplication sign four fives are 20 total number of petals this is how we complete the sum How many trees in six rows? If there are seven trees in each row, here the operation which will be used is multiplication. We shall use seven times table. That is seven six are forty-two. Six rows, seven trees in each row. We write the multiplication sign. Seven six are Forty-two. So total number of trees are forty-two. What is the cost of nine erasers if each cost rupees three? Here we use multiplication. We shall use 
3 times table. 3 nines are, what do we get? 3 nines are, right, 27. So, let us write it in the form of sum. 9, number of erasers. 3, cost of 1 eraser. Multiplication sign. 27, total cost of erasers. If 9 sweets can be put in one box, how many can be put in 7 such boxes? We use multiplication and we shall use 9 times table. So, 9 sevens are 63. So, we write it in the form of sum. 7 number of boxes, 9 sweets in one box, 63. 7 nines are 63 we get. 63 total number of sweets. Now children, this is your workbook page which you have to complete today. I hope you all have understood today's topics. Now works to be completed for today. Learn the poem Sugar Plum Tree. Complete handwriting page 4. Complete math workbook page 40 and 41. These are the three works which you have to complete today. Children, join your hands and let us say the final prayer. Prayer after class. Thank you, O God, for my school. Thank you for my loving parents who love and care for me. Thank you for my teachers who train and teach me daily. Thank you for my friends who play with me and grow with me. Be with us, O Lord, as we go home. Guide our feet that we may never wander away from you. Amen. Saint Anthony, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Guardian angels, protect us. Providence of God, watch over us.